Oh, hey there, Claire fans. It's time for Behind the Scenes of Bloopers. It's my favorite. You know what else is my favorite? Peanut butter treats. I like to chase things, and I like the ocean and swimming. And I really am a big fan of all movies, except for, of course, Batman vs. Superman. Enjoy! Just, uh, working really hard? Yeah, yeah, hardly working, more like. Huh? Stop. What are you digging for? I don't know. There's something back there. Oh, he's, he's rubbing his face. What are you doing? Tell me about your pets. Tell me about my pets. Jesus, take me to dinner first. Tell me about getting Cal. When did you first decide that you wanted a dog? I have wanted a dog, specifically a yellow lab for going on my entire life. I got Rat um, in Phoenix, Arizona 13 years ago when she was six weeks old. So Falco <laughs> was actually found in a shelter, so we're not really sure like, if he was abandoned or whatever, but he had a tumor on his head and he had an abscess on his back and he also had pneumonia, so they were gonna put him down. Oh, it was it was really really sad and- You uh, came in and rescued him. Soup the day, souped in and saved the day. And Baxter is a Beagle Jack Russell mix. Uh, which is known on the internet as a Beagle Jack or a Jack B, depending on your, uh, your your preference. He is the sweetest thing. Yeah. I might have to lie. Why? Because an ex gave me Cal. <laughs> oh, you heard it here, folks. Kind of the best ex in the world? That's a little right. bit? I don't know. Is that, Ooh, is that I wouldn't like go a that silver far. lining type situation? It's the only silver lining. Where are you going? You stay here, dog. We always had big dogs like Huskies and... Uh, golden Retriever, so I really wanted a little tiny dog. And we had set up all these meetings with like rescue people and with breeders, because this was a while ago before like rescuing was like as big as it was now. Um, and she was the very first one that I met, and I remember she was in her little baby blanket, and the lady like lifted up the blanket, and she popped her little head out, and I burst into tears, and I was like, <laughs> that's my dog! And my parents were like, no, like let's meet with the others, and I was like, no! And I literally, we've never been separated since. We like got her on the spot. The first time I ever saw him, at the adoption uh, event, I was like, oh, I want, I want this one. And she was like, you want to take him for a trial? So we took him for a trial. And uh, and then by a went, trial, a yeah, trial. right. Yeah, you like, bring a dog home, you keep that dog. 24 hours later, I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm keeping that Yeah, you're forever. hot melted. Uh, we found him at the No Kill LA uh, annual event that they do at the Tar Pits, uh, which if, if you're ever in Los Angeles and you're looking for a dog, best friends, uh, organizes a big thing in the spring and then in the fall uh, call that is all for no kill no kill shelters and adoption uh, adoption fair and uh, I was dragged there by my, by my wife I didn't want to go uh, I'll give it to my ex she knew I wanted a dog that was very nice of her um, I got Cal at two months old Oh, that's young he was a little tiny boy he had a big fat belly he sat on my lap because he was dewormed so he had the big fat belly. Oh, he had worms. Oh yeah. Well, okay. it's a it's a standard puppy procedure. Yeah, yeah, um, I'd say so. And uh, we brought him home, and he immediately went to the bathroom all over the floor, which was very <laughs> fun. Uh, which was okay. You know, that's what happens. Oh, poor baby. And uh, Cal has been with me ever since. Ten years now. And you rescued Navi too. Yeah, from the same rescue, and I was actually volunteering that day. And I had seen her, and she was rescued from Tijuana from a pretty bad living situation. Uh, so I don't really know what it was like, but she is she was definitely really neglected. And I saw her, and she looked at me with these puppy eyes, these puppy eyes right here. And um, and I called Dustin, and I said, hey, how do you feel about having a second dog? He's like, well, I'm not sure. And I made him come all the way to the rescue event. And I was like, so, and he goes, well, I mean, I guess we're having a second dog, and that's it. <laughs> that was it. I didn't like anything that I was seeing, and then on the way out, I saw a dog sitting, I saw Baxter sitting on a woman's lap. It said, oh, someone brought their very adorable dog here. He's definitely not one of the ones up for adoption. And then I went over there, and sure enough, he was. Aww. And they had already named him Baxter, and it took me like two days to, in my head, make the Anchorman reference. Uh, you need to tell me now about her name. Because yeah. we call her Rat, but. We do. It's not her real name. It's not her real name. Her real name is Adelaide. 
um, from the musical Guys and Dolls, which she still gets called sometimes, mostly when she's in trouble, but it just Aww. kind of evolved um, into rat. But I always say I love rat. How did rats. it evolve into rat? I don't know. I mean, it's been so many years. I just like, she's just such a little rat dog. And so it just kind of evolved into rat. Uh, well, it's Kal-El. Yeah, of Full course it is. Full name Kal-El. Well, he's the last dog of uh, Krypton. So that I named sense. him. I named him after Superman. I was little known fact. It was either going to be Cal because I liked Cal, Cal L, uh, or Wedge. After Wedge Antilles, that's actually a really the unsung dog hero of the Star Wars universe is Wedge Antilles. So he was almost Wedge because I liked just the uh, the funny. Can you imagine a dog named Wedge? Yeah. I think that's a good no, name. No, I can definitely imagine a pet named Wedge. Yeah. So, but I I opted for Cal because not only is Cal. The last dog of Krypton, but he's like Crypto. A lot of people said, "Why do you name him Crypto? Superman's dog, because he looks like Crypto." But I like, I like the fact that his name is Kal El. It's a stupid question, but tell me about their names. <laughs> okay, so Falcor, when we first got him, his ears were much longer, and he looked like Falcor the Luck Dragon from the Never Ending Story. Oh. And I looked at him and I said, "Falcor." And then with Navi, she's kind of this. She's I don't know. She's got this innocent look, and she's really energetic, and she mm -hmm. kind of is always like sticking her nose under your hand so she's like pet me pet me pet me and it reminded me of the fairy from legend of zelda so i named her navi mm -hmm. and everybody when i tell them oh her name is navi they're like avatar. oh avatar <laughs> and i'm like why Heck would i no. name a tiny little dog and after the tall blue thing from avatar tell me a little bit about uh rat vocabulary what what words oh. are in the rat dictionary oh there's so many i, I mean, know about rascal rascal rascal's a thing yeah, I mean, pretty much anything that's small is rat-sized. Pretty much anything that <laughs> can start with an R becomes a rat word, like um, like a rental instead of a pencil, if it's a oh, small pencil. Oh, makes sense. But you have to say it with the voice, too, because that adds a lot to it. OK. Um, but yeah. I'm like, in my head, I'm trying to make more things a rat <laughs> word, and it's not sounding right, so I'm not going to say it. So I heard a little something about a rat song. I know nothing about this song. I almost walked into a wall. But right now we're going over to the writer's room because I need to hear this rat song. Oh, no, the rat song? Okay. Uh, Do it. Hold on. Okay. Uh, it goes like this. All right, anytime I see rat, this is what I sing in my head or sometimes out loud. I'm the rat. I'm the rat. You're the rat. No, I'm the rat. Everybody sing my rat song. Everybody <laughs> sing my rat song. He's, she's a rat. The dog coming at you here at Collider Studios going like this Cause she's a little tiny dog named Rat What? Rat, yeah Rat likes to go and kick some ass She's looking for some food and get it real fast Cause she's Rat, what? Rat, what? That's her name She goes about two miles per hour every day uh, rat, rat, the little dog. He walks around everywhere and he wants all my food. Sleeping in my rasket, getting all the scratches, doing all the rat life things. Rat, I love you, little one. You're the sweetest little thing I bring bagels to every Friday. I like to scratch your ass and make your tail move. <laughs> You're the sweetest little dog I've ever seen. And your owner isn't too bad either. That's mine! <laughs> I'm coming for it! Rat and I, we're gonna ride or die together with that singles championship belt. Once I beat Dan Morrow, once I beat Mark Riley. All right, I'm shutting this shit down. Let's get out of here. Oh no, they're everywhere. So I have two cats, actually, in my tiny one bedroom apartment, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I got Felix and Luna. Uh, Felix tears everything up. He gets into cabinets and stuff all the time, but Luna is awesome. She plays fetch and she's getting really fat, so it's kind of funny to watch. Uh, they're, they're the best, yeah. You have two cats. I do, I do. Magnus and Garrison. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah fine His creatures. His cats are just like the sweetest freaking cats too. And they weigh like 40 pounds each. Uh, <laughs> they could eat a small child if they wanted. I've got one dog. One dog? One dog at home. Why hasn't this dog come to visit? Uh, because one, he lives with my folks, my apartment Ooh. complex. Doesn't allow me to have pets because they're Satan. That's the and, saddest thing ever. Why uh, would you no. ever live there? Because uh, it was cheap, Harry. I can't count the finches because that would take too long, but we have four conures, two cockatiels, um, two cats, three dogs. And three chickens now. What um, would they do if they came here for the day? Uh, um, probably, I don't know, they'd be really shy. 
You know, they like to stick to themselves a little bit. Real sweethearts, but they just don't have the, the social chops to get out there and, you know, roll with, uh, uh, you know, badasses like Rat out there yeah. and things like that. So I got a dog. His name is Ringo. He's the freaking cutest dog in the world. He really is. He's a half Shih Tzu, half Pekingese. I'm going to pretend like I've actually heard of that kind of breed before. I, I actually do know what that okay, is. I don't know go. what, like, a mashup of the two might look like. Uh, well, there you go. Boom. I yeah. just threw it to an image right it's there. It's magic. He's called Ringo because he's got, like, a white hair of ring, like, a ring around his whole neck. Okay. So he's called Ringo. Not after Ringo Starr. I, that's where my mind went no, originally. Not a fan of Beatles. It all started with one, my husky shepherd, Loa. Aww. Better from a puppy. Everyone She's else was real rescue or we, you know, the birds we purchased All later. your pets are really sweet. Do they all get along? For the most part, honestly, the dogs and cats um, get along. And if like a bird is like one of the cockatiels is waddling around, the cats are fine. We wouldn't leave them alone unattended though, but they're okay in front of us. My favorite office dog. Pressure's uh, on. Say the right answer. Hey, it's rat, Grace. It's definitely rat. Uh, he is so small. It just uh, and it is a he, right? Is it she? It's a she. It's a she. Rat, it's a she. It's a she. She's a sweetheart. If you had to give the boot to one Collider office dog and keep one Collider office dog, who would you pick? This Why is are you mean. making me do this? I don't know. Have you this asked anyone else this question? This is the most evil question Why are you I've come up me with this yet. Question? The pressure's on. Everyone's gonna judge you. Pick. And if every every okay, if every dog that's been there, okay. This, this sucks. Okay. Uh, crap. Okay, just, okay. Grace, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad. I love Rat so much. But she's always in the studio. We're trying to record. What happened today during TV Talk? Two minutes to go, and she was running around the set. Uh, it's adorable. Um, it's going to ruin the show one of these days, but it is yet to do it. So I uh, I have ultimate faith in Rat. You know, Rat's got my vote. Rat for president. Dewey. But really, how do you feel about Dewey? Uh, I don't think I've ever met the little guy or girl. We're going to change this. I've okay, never, let's go change that. So you know how dogs come to greet their owners at the door? Dewey does the same. Watch. Hi. Hello, little one. Oh. Look who it is. It is the deputy. Isn't he so pretty? Isn't he so pretty? What's up, baby? Look at this face. Look at this face. Is he not the best? I love those dogs in the office. But this right here, this is like a hybrid. I get the best of both worlds. I have a cat that acts like a dog. So clearly, I win everything in the world of Collider Pets. Dewey doesn't really go into the office anymore. He used to when I first moved out here because at the time I had an office all to myself where I could shut the door. I'm not really ready to let Dewey roam free in the office, given all the schmutz all over the place and food on the floor. Yes, I said schmutz. I don't trust him. And also he likes, he just likes being home. All he wants is love and attention. I keep buying him all these wonderful toys and he just doesn't want to play with them. All he wants to do is sit with people. You're just shooting me and Steve Harvey? <laughs> the things I do for my cat. He loves Steve Harvey. Surprise! Bloopers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the pick of the week. Yeah! David yeah. 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 Let's do one more Twitter question and call it a day. What's up? Okay. Look, in high school, my family and I had a lizard and it grew to four feet tall. One day we walked in and it had pushed the top of the cage open and leaped at my mother and I and attacked us. So I've never seen a Godzilla move. <laughs> That's a true story. It's glucosamine. What are you doing? <laughs> he is over this He's interview. He's out of here. He's like, you know what? I saw Cody and Adam. There. You got on my light. He's going to... He's Christian bailing you right now. He's like, I don't walk in the middle of your interviews. Hey guys, welcome to Collider Movie Talk. Look guys, before we get into the first news story today, there is some breaking news that we should report here, and that is that I popped my cherry last night at Universal Studios, <laughs> and I got to meet a celebrity. Roll the pick. What? Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at that. I met a real <laughs> wizard at Universal <laughs> Studios last night. <laughs> 
Oh. That was Cal. Yes, <laughs> Jeremy just left me hanging. Thanks a lot. I thought you guys couldn't get enough uh, Penguins jersey last week, so I'm going to continue the trend. Back-to-back -back champs. <laughs> Suck it, Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> So funny, it's not funny. <laughs> Quiet. Stop that. <laughs> like only you would find joy out of eating salad fruit. Bill Lord and Christopher Miller exited the movie over creative differences. With both Lucasfilm and <laughs> Lord and Miller releasing statements about the split. Da, little red dog, little red dog, little red dog, little red dog, red. <laughs> he is just like staring oh, okay. into my soul right now. <laughs> actually fired from the production. Kind of laughing. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm sorry, sorry. I had to tell you guys that Christian stole my computer and oh, no. wrote a bunch of other things in the notes. So well, he's it's a going dad. to be a very funny show. For somebody that can get into the lore of Transformers pretty well in the mythology it's it's a you know like, like Roga said they are building worlds here there's a lot of uh myths to explore in transformers the last night is it something that's on your radar are we good, <laughs> good. alex do you have any pets oh well we're not including alex then and you don't like the scary movies oh boy <laughs> where'd he go where, oh boy nope Okay, Ken is, Ken is hiding and he's saying he is not buying the Annabelle Creation trailer. Do you know how dogs come to create the, the, the. Oh, Okay. Yeah, nice. It's the same song from the original series. But Carly Rae Jepsen singing it. Yes. Right? Is uh, that who that is? Is it Carly Rae Jepsen? It just sounds like Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Quick, everyone make a double chin. <laughs> Oh, Cody, don't, don't, don't throw it to Cody. Cody, make a double chin. Go, do it. <laughs> she did the Fuller, the Fuller House intro. Too. Like, maybe that's Get like, town, really? I swear, that's that's her singing it. Oh, wow. Anyway, maybe that's her new thing. Uh, <laughs> she just does old TV things? Yeah, that's uh, that's her whole, that's Carly Rae Jepsen's entire career now. <laughs> Next up, yep. she's just old TV yep. things. Yep. And with they're that. extended with guitar yep. solos. Candace, you know better than anybody, comedy is all about timing. So are yes. thrillers. Is it? <laughs> 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 you by yourself there. And now we move on to that part that of the show called week? Buy or Sell. Hit the music, Adam. No, we still don't have any music for it. <sighs> Puny humans know nothing about anything at all. Hey guys, you're watching What Is on Netflix. What's going on? Next up, one of the scariest movies ever made, The Shining. Stanley Kubrick's 1980s in uh, We're going out with something a bit more cheerful. Kubo and the Two Strings. Kubo. <laughs> okay, wait. Nope, okay. <laughs> if, you're a, if you love Transformers movies, this is an eight. <laughs> if you love Transformers oh movies, this is an eight. Oh, wow. Check that out, guys. Thank you very much. And we'll talk to you real soon on Star Wars Talk. Gross. <laughs> May the force be with you sometime. So I, I wish you the brave heart, no. like the Mel Gibson was like, uh, I've come back home to raise crops, God willing, a family. <laughs> if I can live in peace, I will. Yep, it's all right. Okay, well, place is quiet. Next. But in this situation, you guys are right. You want a steady hand to take you home, and I think it makes sense. Let's say we fire Mark Ellis right now, and we got a half hour left on the show. We're going to have Dennis come in and host it. Tomorrow, yep. we bring in Cody Hall, and we start something new. <laughs> Cody, Cody Hall, we want that fresh, risky take yeah. on Collider Movies. That man has never looked more pumped. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely lit up. Oh, hi guys. How's it going? Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more videos, uh, there's a couple over there. There's one there, and uh, it's pretty good. And there's one up here. There's one up here. Yeah, yeah, that one's, that one's all right. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Well, I gotta go. Bye.